Hello folks and welcome to my review of One Piece chapter 1069. An interesting chapter to say the least. We got obviously a rematch between Luffy and Lucci. So let's get into the cover page and the German 66 cover story is still going on. However, it looks like it's taking a twist because we see Dufeld, which if you don't remember, he's the guy that was invited to the tea party of Sanji and Pudding. We find out like, apparently he survived after falling off the top of that cake. But the tomato bucket box where it exploded and triggered the cake to like fall down. And also he survived being shot by Stussy. But the most interesting thing, it looks like he has a connection with Mads because he has a ship with Mads written on it. So I don't know if that means literally he was with the Mads. Or that's just an Easter egg. But it looks like he has a connection with Mads, which I didn't, number one, I didn't even think he was still alive. So props to Oda for that. Whether or not that's going to lead to anything, I don't know. Let's dive right into this chapter, and as you'd expect, it didn't take long for us to get into the rematch with, between Rob Lucci and Luffy. And it took an interesting twist, to say at least, talk, talk about an interesting a twist in this chapter. So it starts off with Lucci, who goes into base, which I immediately thought he's going to attack, because obviously he had Bonnie, and props, obviously he has negative feelings towards Luffy, obviously, from the re from the last time these two clashed. So it's pandemonium, everybody on, again, is like running for the lives pretty much. Luffy gets triggered for like the most simplest of reasons. In this case, it's because of Atlas who fed Luffy. I mean, Chopper's freaking out, but Jinbei's smart enough to realize he's going after Vegapunk. And then Luffy's like, yo, this is a government island, you know? And I don't know how wise it was telling Luffy to like, let's get, hurry up to the top and escape. Like literally telling them, where they're going. Kaku points out, oh, Jory Barney's with them too, but that he tells Lucci not to lay a hand on them because he's becoming Yonko now, which is true, but I don't think that means anything to the world government or the Marines. This is gonna this is gonna cause a ripple effect, I know it, going into the new year. So so they haven't got permission from the top brass, which is interesting. I thought they I thought CP0 were above the Marines. Or I'm mistaken because the Marines were mentioned in this chapter, and we see, do see Fleet Admiral Akainu. So are they talking about the Marines, or are they talking about Ima Sama? Because the or Tenjo Beto, because they're the only ones who should rule over CP Zero. And Jim, Luffy's like, I'll, Jinbei, I'll leave body to you. And it looks like Luffy's about is gung ho, but the reason he gets triggered is because obviously he sees at Punk Atlas. Now in the last chapter, it seemed like she was still alive despite. Lucci's attack, I'm sure she could get repaired if she's still alive. And then Lucci's like, okay, I'm, I'm well aware that f fighting him is not a good idea, but if he's like, chop it, yo, look after her. But and this is where the repairs are going to come in because Chopper says, I'm not qualified to do that. I think Frankie's more suited to do that night than I am. Now. I could be Frankie's role in this. I don't know what he's going to do. I, I think whatever he's going to do now is a, from a character standpoint, unless he gets involved in this. Which I can see the rest of the straw arts jumping in, like Robin and Frankie and Sanji. And it's like Luchi's trying to coach Luffy to like, just ignore this. Like, sweep it under the rug. This is internal government affairs, you don't want any of this. And then Luffy's response is, this girl, she gave us meals, you know. So that was it, that was the trigger. And then we go to Marine HQ again. And al has got a word that the Straw Hat Pirates are on Egghead Island. So that's a problem because once again, they're finding out about this stuff very casually. And then al is like, did Vegapunk notice Cypher Paul is targeting them? So even al knows, like, what the hell's going on here? This is becoming problematic. I don't think CP0 care about the Marines whatsoever, especially Rob Luigi, because he just doesn't care about getting the word from the Marines at all. He's like, he doesn't get care about getting permission. He's all about that business, so I won't give him props for that. He's not somewhat of a lap dog. Even at Kaku say, hey, we shouldn't we shouldn't tag around with Luffy because he's a Yonko and it could cause a lot of problems. But it's already caused a lot of problems, especially when I kind of asked, yo, where's Kizaru at? And he head headed towards Egghead Island. So Kizaru's coming, implied that he's going to be there to like give CP0 the word on not to engage until he rise, but it's already going down, so... But the fact that Kizaru's coming, it's just like Green Ball coming in at the end of Wano. Are we going to get Kizaru by the end of this? Because it just feels like rinse and repeat of what we got in Wano. Which I don't have a problem with that, but 
if if what I think may happen, it's going to end up the same way. But we'll have to wait and see. I'll get into that also by the end of this. But it doesn't matter because Luffy and Lucci are already going at it. And the two things to note is, number one, as we really expect, Lucci has a hybrid form and it's, awake, it's awakening. So And Lucci's, and Lucci's given the old, oh, don't think you're the only one that got strong after all this time, Mugiara. Which, I don't know if he's trying to convince us if he's trying to convince us through Luchi, or if he's trying to convince Luffy. So Luffy went into gear fifth, and this is where Vegapunk comes in and gives us, I guess the straw hats, the, pretty much the law of the White Warrior, as he calls it, or the Sun God Nika, the Nika Nika model of the Devil Fruit, which they, they're finding out there's no recollection data about the Gumma Gumma Me in the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, which I think is finding interesting. And I'm like, maybe that's by design by the government because they don't want this getting out. The Shura has, they don't know what this form is, but it isn't a power of the government government I me. Mean, and that's from Nami. So, like, I like, no, that's, that, there's no name of that Devil Fruit anywhere in the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Even the old Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. But the, the law of the Gum Gum Fruit, the Shura hats are getting, so that's pretty cool. Being described, Luffy as a beat of God. And Sanji has the quote, it's like, I, I don't think so because he's just an idiot, which, no. And if you look at this, each of the action sequences going on in this scene, while, while Vegapunk's explaining this, look at Luffy dodging Luchi's attacks with ease. And look at his facial expressions. There's one sequence where he, he pulls what he did against Kaido, where he's sticking his eyes out like, a, obviously, the another Looney Tunes cartoon moment for Luffy, where he's sticking his eyes and his tongue out of his head. And freaking out Luchi. Luchi, I guess, trying to antagonize him. Luchi's trying to land the blow, but he, he can't. But I just like how, how the straw has to get all this information while in the background you got Luffy just like dodging Luchi like a boss. There was a sequence where it looks like Luchi may have advanced Conqueror's hockey because he clashes with Luffy and you see some, see some sparks. I don't know. It could be just a hockey clash with Armin Hockey. And it's hard to tell with Luchi because he has leopard skin anyway, so so you could be the judge of that if you want to. But other than the, and we know Luffy also has awakening in this mode, so that's another thing. I guess the main question here is how much of this mode is in a time limit when it comes to Luffy? How long could he exude this form for? The Zephyrium Trio show up alongside Sentomaru, and I I like this cont continuity because there's actually mixed feelings because. The Strats are also enemies of the world government, and this is a world government island. Kaku and Stussy notice the Zephyrium trio, and it's like, he's got three Zephyrums with him. He's like, yo, go to s -Beth, go take him out. And then Stussy's like, no, it's, it's no use because we're at a disadvantage here, because obviously Sentamaro has actually overrides the, the commands of each of the Zephyrium. So he commands s to actually attack Cypherpool, which I thought was kind of a neat twist. But obviously there had to be something to even out the playing field because that's way too overkill going, going against the CP0 here. You already have Luffy, which is enough. Now you have the Zephyrums? No. So there had to be something else to it. And Stussy Kaiser gives us a brief detail. The rank of the authority they follow is different than the, those of the past of feasters. Even if the five elders, elders the Gura say, orders the transponder snails, it will be invalid. So you get the rundown of the how the rank of authority works. They've got the five elders, followed by Dr. Vegapunk, Setamaru, and the holder of the authority ship, which I'm assuming that's CP0 number four. Setamaru is next, so obviously that's why they sent them. And then you've got Vegapunk and the five elders. So, But Luffy gets a blow in with the Gumma Gumma no Mugura pistol, with more pistol. And obviously you see Luchi spitting blood in his hybrid form. Then Setamaru's like, yo, Let's go then. You will guide the Straw Hats to the Frontier Dome using the vacuum rocket. Chop is like, and Jinbei's like, yo, am I deceiving me? Am I looking at a miniature version of myself with brown skin? And Chop is like, yo, you noticed that too. So I guess it makes sense because they haven't encountered the Zephyrims yet. The rest of the Straw Hats have Mayan Azoro and Brook. Now Jinbei realizes the former members of the Warlords, Seven Warlords, I never thought they could clone us. Like that, which is interesting because they cloned Sentomaru as well. We found out that Sentomaru 
was being fed when he was starving. So, because there was some hesitation on Santa Mar to actually help out Straw Hat. And the moment he did, Luffy actually gives him the like, hey, Axe Guy, it's been a while. So, that's the last time these two met was after the time skip. So, that was cool. That was epic scene. And I was like, Santa Mar was like, don't call me by my. Don't forget what enemies. And then once he asked, are you going to let Old Man Vegapunk escape? Yep, he requested it. It's fine. This is the thing. So it's, so Jinbei's saying they're clones. But it's like the clones hold the memories of the original because... Oh, are, the, are the memories linked? Because the clone did not battle Luffy post-time skip. It was the original, right? So, but then... It's acting like, hey, we met before. Like, so what's going on here? So that just that just stuck out to me a little bit. So I don't know if you, and Santa was like, I don't know if I can rely on you about that. Who would have guessed become an emperor? And I can't understand that form of yours. And guess what? The Straw Hats don't even understand it either. So you're not alone. So I mentioned the saying, not some of the fandom don't really understand Gear Fifth. But like, I guarantee the fact that Vegapunk is giving us Lord building to like the Straw Hats, there's got to be something to it. Either way, it doesn't matter because Luchi comes in with Shugan and just stabs Santimaru through the chest. I mean, that looked brutal. And then it KOs Santimaru and that proceeds to like threaten to like have the Zephyrians obey our orders, which this could backfire or it could work out for the Straw Hats. And you see the facial expression of Luffy. I don't think I've seen Luffy in that use that expression in Gear Fifth ever. Like he's distraught, which I don't know what that's going to lead to. If Luffy's going to bounce out of Gear Fifth, going to Gear Fourth, and attacking a rage, or if Luffy's just going to go ham on Rob Lucci. That's how the chapter ends. I don't think Sentinel is done. I think he, he has one more order to fulfill. Because why, why would you ha highlight the fact that Santa Mara is also with them? And highlight the fact that Vegapunk actually fed you while you were here? Because there was some talk about helping out the Straw Hats. But then when Vegapunk asked Santa Mara to do that because obviously you owe us. That's when Santa Mara just like forgot about the world government and actually helped out. Looking to help out the Straw Hats. So I wait to see what's next. Like, if Luffy wasn't going to fight Luchi, then Robin or Zoro was the next best choice. The fact that... The, both, like, Luchi's already in his hybrid form, and Luffy's in gear fifth. What does that tell you? Like I said, this fight was not going to last long. I don't see this lasting longer than a chapter. You also have the threat of Kizaru coming in now, which whole, the whole sequence with Luffy versus Luchi, if you look at it overall, it's like Luchi barely able to get a, gets a blow-in on Luffy, and Luffy gets one massive blow-in. Outside of that, Luffy's just dodging Luchi like a boss in gear fifth. I said in the last chapter that's exactly what it would be. Like, I don't see this being close unless Luffy is severely nerfed. I'm surprised that Oda had Jim May take Bonnie away to take that hand because I immediately thought that's a, that's gonna nerf Luffy because if he, if Luffy has a, if Luffy has a hostage, Luffy is not gonna fall, attack at full force. But he didn't do that, which I think is interesting. Well, he hasn't done that yet because you, you still got Kaku and Stussy, so I don't see them sitting still. Which brings me to my next point. So right now we know that Kizaru is on his way. We don't know what he's going to do. Again, like I said, this feels like Wano all over again because we had Green Bull show up by the end, only to be, only to be run off by Shanks with his Conqueror's hockey, and we know Kuma's coming in to uh, to do something. Maybe this is his role because remember the last time Kizaru and Kuma were on the same island. Kuma ended up saving the Straw Hats. He may end up sacrificing his life to save the Straw Hats again if Kizaru is there. So, yeah, I could totally see that. Or I could totally see, I see Rob Lucci target Barney, and that's why Kuma shows up. So, the main issue here is what the hell's going to happen in 2023? Because it looks like, for the most intensive purposes, this could very well be the last chapter of the year. Unless this leads to a capture of the Straw Hats, which I do not want at this point because. You're supposed to establish the straw leveling up and going up against a major threat and the Blackbeard Pirates at some point. If somebody gets kidnapped, that's not really a good look. So, like I said, the only thing that makes sense to me is Dragon showing up to help out Luffy and by default, Jory Barney. 
And if Kuma ends up sacrificing himself before that, I can totally see Dragon killing Kizaru. So that, that may be a major fuck you to Imusama. Who's to say that Imusama doesn't know? And if Imusama learns about this, is, it, is Imusama going to do something like he did with Lucy Island to erase it? I can't wait to see the fallout of this, but I, like I said, this chapter is going to cause ripple effects because Luchi is ignoring orders, literally, to fight against Luffy. Luffy's already in gear fifth, like I said, so what's that tell you? It's like, unless it times out, this fight will not last much longer than a chapter. Because it, it can't. It, it can't, like, Oda has already specified that he would like, not what, what's going to happen, he would like to end the series within the next three years. So, like I said, even if someone is captured, how long is it going to be for, really? It's going to be crazy to see what the Zephyrians do now that Z Centumara has been quote-unquote KO'd. I don't know if Centumara is, the clone of Centumara is actually dead. We'll find that out. Probably in the new year. Like I said, I don't know if it's literally the last chapter of the year or if we got another one before the, the year rides itself out. But what a ph phenomenal year it's been for One Piece. Overall, the anime and the manga. Like I said, I thought it was a decent chapter, a very predictable one with Luchi vs. Luffy. I don't know what's going to happen next, though. I will say that. Let me know any thoughts in the comments below. I hope that Barney wakes up pretty soon to do some, to, to kick some ass because right now her character's been built up, so it'd be a shame if she misses out on this. We'll have to wait and see. Like I said, this has to lead into a team up eventually. So that's going to do it for you guys for watching. Like the review if you did it, a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If this is the last chapter, you, you may consider this the last One Piece review of the year so happy holidays hope you have a good new year stay safe like the review if you did thumbs up i appreciate that subscribe channel for more one piece i appreciate all the support catch you guys later thanks guys bye